Yo, 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 yo. Um, hi guys. So, I'll be doing a quick review on my trades this week. Um, start from Monday. As you guys know, I only trade Euro USD. Um, so Monday, we had a bank holiday. So I didn't even look at Monday. Tuesday, however, um, when I showed up to the charts. We were at this candle right here. Um, I did see this as a purge. This move to the upside here as purge in these highs from London. Um, so we had the purge and then a return back up into that order block. Um, and I would consider this entire thing an order block as well. If you go up to the four hour chart, you can see that this is indeed a four hour order block. so i honestly missed this trade because of how quickly and how early in the new york open session it occurred however i did do the markup prior to the move um so our setup is page revert five minute ote with a fair value gap um so as you can see here we have the 62 percent level we have this fair value gap here and as I said, we already confirmed the purge of the stops from London here. We had we had um, short sellers here, as well as short sellers here. So even um, short sellers who would have put their stops to break even, um, they would have neutralized those those um, sellers. So I remembered missing this move actually. As you could see, this was 7 a.m. So I would have had to um, getting right here on this candle or maybe on the return here, but I was just uh, I just wasn't ready. I wasn't alert, alert enough as well as um, We have these equal highs here and I expected price to run the highs again and then move to the downside uh, So I ended up missing the majority of this move however, I did go down to the one minute chart and enter on this fair value gap here um, same same entry essentially which is fair value gap so the fair value gap is more important than the 62 percent level pull the fib enter there stops i i had a 10 pip stop and i targeted the liquidity below these equal lows here on the one minute chart so i got a nice 10 pip scalp on this trade um, because i didn't enter at my um, exact price point so that was the trade on monday um that was a one-to-one -one trade i could have held for more as i did expect price to take previous day low so that's previous days low price did run previous days low um another thing we had the classic page and revert um you could go back to the liquidity purge and revert video from ICT so we have these daily highs taken once this high is taken we wait for that day's low to be taken once that day's low is violated we can expect one two and three these three days lows to be violated so this day's low was definitely a nice target for me um, and as you can see price did take that low beautifully eventually um so that was monday's trade on tuesday i got another 20 pip scalp well not another 20 pip scalp my first 20 pip scalp on monday i got 10 pips um so we have this fair value gap here we have this gap here to be filled we have a clear purge on stops as you can see we have a wick up here stops being taken once stops are taken we could start looking for entries <sighs> excuse me simply going on to the five minute chart stops taken here so these were stops stops taken 
this was a tricky one because if you pull the fib from here to here the 62 percent would have been here but you always want the 62 percent to line up exactly with the fair value gap price coming up here and then a nice fall 20 pips this was a nice two hour trade I took 10 pip stop 20 pip TP actually I had a 12 pip stop because I wasn't sure if price was gonna fill this fair value gap so I had a 12 pip stop right at the low of this order block I didn't expect it to go higher than the fair value gap but just to be safe I put it up here uh, my swing high is anchored here so right above this swing high would have been a good one which is 10 pips um, but I, I just added two pips to be safe and I still took my 20 pips um, and call it a day uh, you know you don't need the exact risk to reward ratios all the time uh, I just like the simplicity of grabbing 20 pips and being out and just adjusting my stop loss um, to suit. So that was Tuesday's trade. Um, and because we had three days of fall, I definitely didn't expect another down day. Um, so I expected somewhat of a reversal on Thursday. which I did capture, luckily. Um, so this is what I saw. Showed up to the charts at this candle. Again, what do we look for? We look for stops to be rated. Once that stop is rated, stops rated here. You see we had London session, this low formed here um, between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., which is uh, the period between New York and London. We had the stop speed run at New York session. So we look for an optimal trade entry with a fair value gap, simple pretty pretty simple so there were two red folder events two high impact events so I tend to look for fair value gaps below the um, purge candle as you can see here this was a fair value gap I pull my fib from low to high so it lines up with the fair value gap. This time, however, I didn't use the 62%. I used the 70.5. Actually, no, I used the 79, yeah. So I use the 79% level. And we keep it simple 10 pip stop, 20 pip TP. 10 pips, 20 pip TP. Uh, this was my trade so uh, I honestly did like 15 minutes of analysis if so much so the same amount of time I took to like show you guys this is the same amount of time it took for me to analyze the markets it's really that simple guys price either goes up or down guys either up or down so I would have adjusted this as well So, yep. 20 pip. You can see price came down. I had little drawdown. Then price just shot up, hit my TP, and I was out in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. In 25 minutes, I was done. 
20 pips um, price came back down it would have it, it wouldn't have hit my stop um, but that's why it's good to scale out just for psychological purposes um, you wouldn't want to be 20 pips in profit then it reverses and then you know you're just confused but once you set your your limit orders just let the market do its thing let the market do, let the market do its thing um, so yeah those are my trades for this week i'm trying to keep the analysis as quick as possible um, so things that i could have done better this week would have definitely been um, on this specific day i do remember feeling emotions when price left the station without me as well as when i entered on the one minute chart because i didn't enter at my exact entry point um, i was a bit you know on edge i started you know over analyzing the trade or oh, should i stay should i not do it but at the same time too this price action was pretty choppy that's no excuse but um that was just an issue with my psychology this week i didn't like how uh, i felt that fear of missing all that move um so i didn't exactly follow my rules because i usually like to get in on a limit order exactly at my 62 percent level which i didn't do so maybe i could be stricter with rules be stricter with entries um remove fear of missing and um also remember that we have other days remember there's an abundance of setups because there were setups literally every day following that um on euro usd alone so those were things i could change um positives were i was extremely calm and rule based on the following days sorry so on two on wednesday and thursday i was extremely calm and rule based so that was really good of me um i managed my risk well because on thursday for the midweek reversal that i expected i didn't even risk uh, my usual 1%, I risk 0.5% because it was a midweek reversal. So um, you never know with the midweek reversal. You just never know. As well as the H4 order flow didn't shift yet. Um, the H4 order flow uh, was still bearish when I showed up to the charts. But I did see the entry on the hourly, um, which is the the highest time frame that i can execute on um, you know based on my scalping model so um, i hope this was insightful i hope this helped uh, just keep it simple guys check out ict's purge and reviewed video go through it 5 10 15 20 times until you understand it it's a powerful concept um, it's extremely rule based extremely simple um, and yeah um, i wish you all the best um, and we, we'll keep in touch.